Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is She Cares and today I have a great word of encouragement for you. But before I get into it, please can you like, share and subscribe and join the She Cares family. Friend, how important is your peace? You have a choice to choose the peace you want. You can have peace but you will have to make the change. We have peace inside of us. It's a gift Jesus gave us. You can't experience the peace given to you if you focus on your circumstances and the distractions around you. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. When you feel you are getting disturbed, don't run to the phone, but run to the throne. You have to start praying. Think of it as a divine trade. When you lay everything down, God will hand over the peace. Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. What we think determines the level of happiness in our lives. You got to say no to the negative thoughts and get rid of them before they settle in. Keep on trusting God. He knows and sees everything and His ways of working things out are much better than our ways. When we try to figure things out on our own, it can lead to more worry and anxiety. Trusting in God leads to peace. John 13 verse 17 says, Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Reading the word is one thing, but when you apply it into your life, you will experience a more fulfilling life. Obedience brings blessings. We must put into practice what God outlines as his best for us. Colossians 3 verse 15 says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Give thanks at all times. Gratitude can bring peace in the midst of difficult times. We lose the focus on the hard times and we start to focus on the blessings in and around us. Friend, I pray that you receive this word today. In Jesus' name, Amen.